Okay, it's 2.16. I just got home from work. I think I'm going to do a little bit of editing for a minute. I say a minute, like half an hour, hopefully. I can get in the groove of it. Then I'm going to run through and do my daily readings of the books. Try and do the workout DVD and watch this other DVD. And then work my way through these magazines. Then we're going to ignore the mess that is the closet. <laughs> we'll eventually deal with this. But not today. So all of this is just stuff I need to actually make myself wear. In order to wear some of the stuff, I need to actually make plans to go do stuff. Otherwise, I'm going to be that weirdo who's in, like, a ball gown just at home doing nothing. Watching anime. Playing with Maggie. Okay, so watching this old YouTube video from Tara Michelle from seven years ago about, like, hacks and stuff. And the first thing, so simple, make your alarm something enjoyable. And I used to, years ago, have my alarm, when it would go off, it would play music. And now I just have the basic beeping noise from my phone. But I just went ahead and had it changed so that when my alarm goes off, it opens up Spotify and starts playing some good music to get me up and going and happy. And <laughs> not wanting to crawl back in bed, but start wiggling and shaking and get out. Okay, so appreciating how unique we are. I do like the whole allow yourself to be the unique person, allow yourself the freedom that comes from not having to live up to other people's expectations of how your life should be. And about one of the common regrets people have is that they wish they had the courage to live a life true to myself, not life others expected of me. So I'm supposed to list unique qualities about myself. Right now I'm struggling to have the courage to... <sighs> put stuff up on YouTube and figure out what to put up on YouTube. What unique qualities do I have? The ambition to do something great, but I lack the means and follow through maybe? I don't know. Or I just overthink it. Unique qualities about me. I don't know. Nothing seems unique. I have a lot of stuff. A lot of people have lots of stuff. A lot of people have problems with spending too much money and not getting rid of things and being unorganized and being a slob. I don't feel like that's a unique thing. What's unique about me? Not even the fact that I'm willing to share this on YouTube is unique. So many people have channels. Oh no, we're spiraling into another crisis because there's nothing unique about me. There's nothing special or different. Anything I can think of, I can think of like hundreds of people who are the same way. Everything about me seems so boring and normal. Nothing unique. What's unique? I don't know. Okay, if this makes it through the editing floor and not get cut out and actually makes it to YouTube... I need people to comment below. Let me know what is unique about you. Because I have no idea where to begin. Everything I can think of just sounds like everybody else. I don't know. Does anybody else not have this? Am I the only one with this problem of not feeling like there's anything unique about me? I don't know. Day three. Stretch. Okay, we're going to stretch. <laughs> I'm going to start stretching down to touch my toes, stretching up towards the ceiling. Alright, that counts, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, I think this book is more advanced than I was expecting. I don't mind like a little bit of religious stuff that I can relate to, like cute little things, but I think this is more for like the diehard, hardcore, like religious people. I don't know if I'm going to make it through this book or not. So far, nothing's very relatable. It does give a little bit of history and insight to some of the things that I do find interesting. Like the fact that they have these kids participating in crazy OCD-like behaviors. So, I don't know. Jack Canfield. I think he did the Chicken Soup books. But this is about being our authentic self. Talking about how we need to work 
reconnect with the essence of who we really are and re-own all the disowned parts of ourselves. I think that's what, what my goal should be. I get so nervous and like worried about what to say, what to do or whatever. But I guess if I just follow the advice where it's like, just be yourself, but be all of you. So we're just going to be weird and like throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what sticks and what relates to other people that they want to subscribe to the channel and talk to me in the comments. This should definitely be part of the resolution is being our authentic self, even though it could mean rejection from others, which is fine, whatever. But to accept all the random weirdnesses that I have and the boring parts, because apparently I'm not unique, because that's a whole meltdown. Um, <laughs> so be myself, just like everybody else. <laughs> so here's this that I got at a garage sale. It's missing the first 79 pages. I guess they ripped them out for those day things. I've been going through trying to read some of it. And I'll let you know. These, since I'm already missing the first 80, I'm not going to actually stick to it like I am the other books. I'm just going to run through and whatever seems good, I'll let you know. And blabber on about it like I usually do. Alright, day 87. You can turn your life into paradise, but the only way you can do it is to make the inside of you a paradise. There is no other way. You are the cause. Your life is the effect. So, I focus way too much on the external stuff. Trying to get rid of things and trying to get everything cleaned and organized and decluttered and buying stuff to have everything I need when apparently I need to focus more on the inside craziness and then the outside would follow. And that seems like, yeah, duh, you should already know this. And I know this, but there's a difference between knowing something and actually doing something about it. Okay, so we're testing this theory. <laughs> so, like, I have all these vitamins that I keep buying. Because you're supposed to take vitamins. And I don't ever remember to take them. Sometimes I'll remember for, like, a few days, maybe a few weeks. But then I just don't. So, I'm trying so hard to do the stuff that I think would make <laughs> make it better. Because this will make me healthy and that makes everything right. It's one of those things. Now, yeah, I have two of these. I think it was a twin pack is why I have two of those. Or maybe I didn't realize I had one. Who knows? Anyways, so... Instead of focusing on, oh, if I take these, these will fix everything. I need to figure out what. What's going on in my head that I feel like I need this? Well, I need vitamins because I don't eat enough fruits and vegetables to get all these vitamins I usually need. And a lot of the imbalances you have for hormones and stuff is linked to vitamin deficiencies or whatever. And But then I don't take them. Because it's one extra thing. And then there's that whole thing of, like, how much good is the vitamin actually doing? What's actually getting absorbed? Certain vitamins only get absorbed whenever it is in interaction with another vitamin. And then I start overthinking everything. And then it's, like, how much is actually needed? Because that's just a general thing. Maybe I don't need as much as other people. Or maybe I need more than other people. Maybe I should talk to a professional. <laughs> in more ways than one. So. Vitamins. Keep them and take them. Leave them on the shelf for another six months until they're expired. And then I have to throw them away just to rebuy them again in a few months. Because vitamins, you're supposed to buy and take them. I don't know. Or does it sink back to that if I felt like I was enough, if I loved myself enough, I wouldn't feel the need to overcorrect everything else in order to feel... I don't know. See, I'm not connecting with this. I don't know. We'll look at it sinking. For now, I am going to run through, and I'm going to take all these vitamins. Not the whole, you know, you know whatever it says. One pill or whatever. All right. <laughs> okay. Vitamins that are going to help me get healthier and better, or maybe it's just expensive pee. We don't know. We're going to find out. <laughs> maybe, maybe not. Okay. So, hula thing? Not for me. <laughs> it's not... It's not that it's bad, it's just I want my workout to feel more like a workout. 
and that's not hitting it. I don't know why I've always liked Audrey Hepburn. I remember as a teenager, I saw the movie Sabrina, and I thought she was great in it. And I loved How to Steal a Million. That was funny. And Roman Holiday. And just so many of those, like, old movies that she was in. But I just, I don't know. Her character is just always, I loved. Okay, it's 4.05. I've been spending time watching the Shrade movie, watching a bunch of YouTube videos to kind of get inspiration on what I need to do as far as video content. Now I'm going to take a break and mix both of these pastoronis together. And while that cooks, I'm going to work on getting the dishes unloaded and just kind of thinking and brainstorming on ideas on what sort of video content to make. And if anybody has any suggestions, like I've been watching these where it's like, 10 hacks and trying TikTok recipes and I just I, I feel overwhelmed and I don't know where to start <laughs> but I'm pretty sure y'all are tired of watching me clean and wash the dishes and complain about the same pile of laundry so we got to figure something out okay I thought of it first of all I realize I don't turn the lights on enough okay <laughs> what makes me unique my delusions of grandeur 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 i don't know anyways i keep recording random stuff and making videos as if i have like a million subscribers that are actually watching this on a regular and want to know what i'm doing and how my life's going when literally i've been posting for like what a month or so now and nobody's watching <laughs> nobody knows i exist on this part of the internet but I still keep making videos as if I'm talking to a bunch of people and asking questions. Hang on, we got it. So what makes me unique is <laughs> my specialty of being crazy. My belief that this could actually turn into something. My understanding that I am going to be bad at this to start out with, case in point, anything I've posted so far. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> um, hang on. I gotta sit you down. Okay, so, okay, so. Realizing that I have, like, an unbelievable amount of optimism that this whole YouTube thing is actually going to work out, which it might not. But then I watched another thing where this lady said it took her six years to get to a million subscribers. So, the fact that I've only been doing it a month, I'm just going to assume I've got six more years of talking to myself and uploading videos for nobody to watch. Until eventually, somebody as weird as me, as strange as me, sees it and relates and like yeah we're gonna keep up with what this lady's doing so I don't feel so bad hang on we're gonna set you there okay so I spent way too much time trying to google how to get extra knobs uh for this crock pot because these are all not all of them, but two of them are broken. So I've got the one knob that I have to keep using for all three. And there's hardly any place I can find that has the same knobs. They all look different. So there is a struggle. Okay, so videos to make. One video I know is going to be me decluttering my closet. I'm going to have some like little bits of what I'm doing because it is part of my day. And like the vlog that I'm going to do once a week. But then I'm also going to try to make a video that's just, hey, this is my closet organization video. And I wouldn't mind doing challenges and I wouldn't mind trying out recipes. I am in the middle of editing one where I tried to make sushi rolls, which they tasted fine. A little bit frustrating. <laughs> in making them and definitely is going to be one of those things that needs a lot of practice to do had very much a little bit of like an existential an existential crisis of a meltdown editing it realizing that it just looks boring and i don't know who would actually want to watch this and just all that 
doubt that you have. And you know what? There's going to be so many people who aren't going to like my videos and who don't want to watch it and like after 15 seconds totally clips, clicks away. But that's fine because I don't like everyone's videos. So therefore, I can't expect everyone to like all of mine, even though I would love it from a narcissist. Okay, so chaos dinner is I've got some vegetable lasagna left over that I'm trying to eat to get rid of. Some cabbage left over. Some of these banana pancake things that I thought out of the freezer. I'm dipping them in some honey because I have honey but that I never use. So get rid of that. So definitely not really the healthiest thing. But it is keeping with the whole eating what I got. I did make those noodles. But I think I'm going to pack them for lunch tomorrow. So editing sissy just got in my head of like, why are you filming your food? Nobody cares about your food. Only film interesting stuff. Well, there's nothing interesting because we have learned I'm not unique. So <laughs> I'm going to finish eating my dinner. Not that you care. And then I'm going to come back and watch charade. Not that that's interesting. And maybe I'll talk about some funny parts of the movie or something. Or something that sparked some sort of, I don't know conversation i don't know i'm full on just rambling at this point <sighs> i do think about like the reaction videos and i was like but i don't want to do that because i don't have enough opinions about stuff i just don't care enough to have opinions about stuff and when i do care it's usually just rage and like people are dumb here's something unique about me i hate cleaning out the air fryer i don't mind doing it like before i use it but after I use it, I never clean it out. Like, never. It stays this nasty for days or weeks until I use it again. And then I clean it. No problem. No hesitation. But cleaning it after I'm done, don't want to do it. But I am proud. Progress. The pot I made the pasta in, I've already got it soaking and getting it scrubbed. Since dishwasher is empty, we're going to load those dishes, turn our magnet to dirty, and our sink will be clear. It's the guy... From Grumpy Old Men. Oh my gosh. Now, see, now I'm going to get distracted because I need to find that movie and watch Grumpy Old Men because I loved it. And I'm pretty sure there was a sequel, Grumpier Old Men. But it doesn't. Sometimes society tells us and we tell ourselves we don't fit the mold. Take a piece of paper and write down what makes you different. And I want you to celebrate it today and every day. On the day we find out I'm not unique, I'm also... <laughs> what makes me unique I might be the only person who doesn't feel like they're different like I know a lot of people struggle of like oh I don't fit in I'm strange I'm weird I'm strange and I'm weird but I fit in I'm way too normal